Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another video. And today what I got for you guys here is gonna be my wish list: the top 10 characters that I think need to be in Injustice 3. Now is Injustice 3 confirmed? Absolutely not. We don't know what Netherrealm's working on next. I actually suspect that it's gonna be Mortal Kombat 12, but either way, I think it's fair to assume that Injustice 3 is going to arrive and it will land at some point in the future. And for whenever it does, this is the wish list that I wanted to make for it. Before we jump into everything though, if you're looking forward to a potential Injustice 3, if you want Netherrealm to make Injustice 3, well then scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me. And I'll tell you what, it keeps me up at night thinking what Netherrealm might be working on next. What is going to be their next project? Is it a Marvel game? Is it Mortal Kombat 12? Is it Injustice 3? I don't know, but I haven't been able to get a good night's sleep in a very long time because of it. That's all fine changed though and I've been able to sleep easy these last couple of nights thanks to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. Let's be honest guys, during these summer months we all need some good sleep but unfortunately the light is beaming through your window very early in the morning and when light's coming through it's telling your brain to wake up. The darker your sleep environment is, the better sleep you're going to have and that's why Manta Sleep offers these sleep masks with a 100% blackout and believe me guys they work and they are very effective and i think i've had the best sleep of my life with these things on this is the original mask here very nice love the design it's very comfortable and again gives you that 100 percent blackout which is exactly what you need or you can try out my personal favorite which is this one right here the silk mask i mean look how good and comfy this one looks it's naturally hypoallergenic moisturizing and ultra breathable six layer head strap for optimal comfort and a durable fit machine washable of course as well and as always got that 100 percent blackout for you so what are you waiting for guys go Go to that link in the description box below and use my code caboose10 for 10% off your order with free shipping to the US or the UK. Thank you very much to Manasleep for sponsoring today's video. I literally can't tell if I'm looking into my camera because these are truly 100% blackout even with these giant lights in front of me glaring. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you very much once again to Mantisleep for sponsoring the video. Seriously, you guys need to check out their products. The link's in the description. I could not recommend it enough. And with that being said, Let's get things started first with some honorable mentions. Okay, so honorable mentions. First up, I have Trigon. A lot of people have asked for this guy. I mean, the father of Raven, a big crazy looking demon, pretty unstoppable, just making it out of my top 10 because honestly, the top 10 was hard to put together. If I could have an 11th spot, seriously, Trigon would fit that 11th spot. Trust me. I also have Godspeed. I mean, I think we all know that if an Injustice 3 happens, we're gonna have the Flash in the game. So really more than anything, I would like Godspeed to be a premier skin, similar to what they did with Reverse Flash. But if we can have Shazam and Black Adam in the same game, or if we can also have Sinestro and Green Lantern in the same game, well then why not have Godspeed and the Flash and give Godspeed some different speedster abilities. I also got Kyle Rayner as a White Lantern, not as a Green Lantern. I think we need to respect some of the other Green Lanterns that are out there, and I would love to see Kyle Rayner be one of those. Honestly, if he was in the game as a Green Lantern, that'd be awesome, but he does become a pretty badass White Lantern in the comics, and I think it'd be cool to see that explored in Injustice 3 and for them to try out some different abilities with that. I also got on my honorable mentions list Nightwing, but specifically from the comic book run because this is actually very popular, and and when I asked people on Twitter who they'd like to see in Injustice, this was one that I saw plenty of people suggest, and that's Nightwing as Deadman. I think that could be an interesting way for the story to bring back the character of Nightwing, but also to change it up and make him a different persona, to make him a different hero altogether. And then finally, on the honorable mentions, and this might piss some people off, but hear me out when I mention this, okay? On the last spot in the honorable mentions, just outside of that top 10, is The Watchmen. Either Dr. Manhattan, Rorschach, Night Owl, The Comedian, whoever you'd like. And listing off all of those names is exactly why the Watchmen are in my honorable mentions because I didn't want to cheat and put the Watchmen in the top 10 and I couldn't really pick one member. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be awesome to see Dr. Manhattan in the game, but I'd also love to see Rorschach and Night Owl's really cool as well. Maybe could be a Batman premiere skin, but then what do you do with something like the comedian or maybe if people want Silk Spectre in there? There's a lot of options to choose from when you have the Watchmen and now that they've done a lot of crossover in the comics, 
I'd like to see that translated into the games, maybe even just do the DC Rebirth storyline for Injustice 3, that'd be awesome. Okay, now that we got the honorable mentions out of the way, let's jump into the actual top 10 characters that I want to see, but I also have one caveat here, and that is that I've also included an additional spot on my list for a guest character that I'd like to see added into Injustice 3. But again, you'll hear more about that later in the video. Here we go now. At number 10, I got Etrigan the Demon, a character I have seen a surprising amount of requests for. Honestly, a very interesting character that NRS could add to the roster. A guy spellbound to a demon that has superhuman strength and taps into magic. Sign me up for that. There's also plenty of creative freedom with this customization too. The gear system would really complement this character. And again, like I mentioned, a lot of people have been requesting Etrigan the Demon. I'm surprised by the amount of people that want this character in the game, because to be honest, I didn't know too much about the character until I saw so many people request him. And yeah, after doing some research, I mean, this is a character that would totally work for Injustice and would be a really unique fighter for the roster. At the number nine spot, I have Plastic Man, which is another character that I have seen a a ton of people request. Funny enough though, the character is in Injustice 2 and is actually cameoing as the jukebox on the bar side of the Metropolis stage. Either way, I think Plastic Man could have a really unique fight style and a moveset that would definitely be unlike anyone we've seen in the previous Injustice games. A bit of a goofy character, yes, but who cares if he's goofy? The Injustice games are pretty dark and we can use a bit of levity. A fun, quirky character that brings an element of comedy to the game would be a nice change of pace. And you'd be surprised too how strong the character of Plastic Man can be, so we could definitely go toe to toe with some of the giants in the Injustice franchise. And hey, speaking of characters that can bring levity to the game, at the number eight spot, I got Booster Gold. I think we're past time bringing this character into the Injustice universe, minus the comics. Not sure if he shows up in the comics, but you know what I mean, the games. A time traveler with an awesome suit. He can fly, shoot energy blasts with his gauntlets and make force fields. Good defensive and great offensive options as a fighter. Tons of customization there as well. As I mentioned earlier with Etrigan, this character could really benefit from the gear system with different shaders and so on. Then at number seven, this is a personal favorite pick of mine. I mean, funny enough, people were even heavily speculating that this character was gonna be showing up in Injustice 2, and that's Ra's al Ghul. Like I said, people thought Ra's was gonna be in Injustice 2 because of the reveal trailer for the game. Matter of fact, it's really weird how we never got some answers about who does the narration for that trailer. A lot of people suspected that it was Brian Cranston, and if so, that would have been a great way to market the game. People also guessed that it was him voicing Raish due to some of the lines used in the trailer. I mean, take a listen to this. Each time I enter the pit, I emerge reborn. Yeah, his ability as a fighter, as the leader of the League of Assassins, mixed in with the fact that so long as he has the Lazarus Pit, he is immortal. Raish is kind of a no-brainer for a DC fighting game. Just imagine if they did something similar to Jason and MKX, where if you lose a game as Raish, members of the League of Assassins will come in and give you a vial of the Lazarus Pit to bring you back to life. His trait could also utilize the League, calling them in for quick strikes, acting like assists almost from Marvel vs. Capcom. There's a lot of potential here. Then at that at number six spot, I got Star Sapphire. I love the Green Lantern lore and how differently all the Lantern Corps operate. Carol Ferris is Hal Jordan's love interest turned kind of villain. I think that could create an interesting push and pull for the character story-wise. When it comes to gameplay, NRS has utilized different Lanterns that Hal Jordan faces off against to essentially act as an extension of what they wish to do with Green Lantern's powers. Having two characters that create constructs with their respective Lantern rings means you don't have to limit the end possibilities to just one character with a few special moves. Kind of the same reason that I want Godspeed to be in the game as well, because you could do crazy things with two different speedsters. But anyways, the thing is too, that this character has been both a villain and a hero in the comics. So it's really up to NRS's discretion of what they want to do with the character. I think making her a villain is interesting though. Plus, I mean, come on, your gear system, it would go crazy. There's so much that they could do in terms of customization for another Lantern character. Look what they did for Green Lantern and Injustice 2. Just imagine. We're getting towards the end here, but to start off the top five, I got Anti-Monitor. I put this dude here because the Injustice games have tackled some big name DC villains. Black Adam was in both games, Lex Luthor in Injustice Gods Among Us, Brainiac the main villain of Injustice 2, Doomsday showing up in the first game, and of course Darkseid was the pre-order bonus of Injustice 2. Granted, I hope that Darkseid would play an actual role in the story of Injustice 3, but it's time to bring out the big guns. Anti-Monitor 
Monitor is one of, if not the strongest villain in the DC universe and could wreak havoc on the battlefield. Summon his army, mess with the multiverse, attempt to end all life. You really open up Pandora's box with Anti-Monitor and I would love to see Netherrealm play around with this character. I also think it's time to give Superman some form of a true redemption arc if we're talking about the story. He somewhat redeems himself in Injustice 2, but it still leads to him betraying Batman and not sticking with becoming a force for good, which, side note, I actually like that he did that. It was unexpected. But if we get an Injustice 3 against the mother of all threats to the universe, Superman needs to make the sacrificial play, and it can make for a pretty great full circle moment. I digress though. Anti-Monitor is a great character and as the main bad in a potential Injustice 3, he could be really awesome to fight against or to play as. At number four, I got Big Barda, another personal favorite of mine and a character that I've been requesting for a long time myself. She just kicks so much ass. I mean, come on, a new god from Apocalypse that's an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Does it get much better than that? We've seen plenty of martial artist type characters in the Injustice games, but none of them really go beyond the peak human ability. This is a character that is a literal god and can kick your ass in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Plus, I think this game's version of Wonder Woman needs someone who can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, and Big Barda is definitely someone who fits the bill. Barda also has a really awesome design that I love the opportunity to customize. I think in general, I just want to see some more of the gods, new or old, show up in Injustice 3. Top 3 time, and here we go. Starting off that top 3, I have a character that a lot of people really want in the Injustice franchise. As a matter of fact, all three these characters are ones that people have been requesting like crazy for an Injustice 3 if it ever happens, and that's Constantine. He's just this really cool and mysterious dude who always shows up looking like he just got beat up in an alleyway, and I mean, come on, he uses magic and fights demons? I'll say this much, if they put Constantine in Injustice 3, if that ever ends up happening down the line, they better get Matt Ryan to do the voice for the character because he literally owns this role. It is his and his entirely. The same way when you're reading a Batman comic or watching most animated features or anything that involves Batman, you're gonna hear Kevin Conroy. When it comes to Constantine, whether it's live action or in animation, it's Matt Ryan. Again though, just in terms of style, in terms of presentation, this is a character that could work really well in Injustice 3 and a character that I would love to see just from the powers, the abilities that he has, the customization options, there's a lot there. Then the runner up at the number two spot, I got Static or Static Shock. I like to call him Static Shock. People have told me that the name is just Static, but I think Static Shock sounds even cooler. So I'm just gonna stick with that. And funny enough, I believe actually there's some concept art out there as this character was at one point going to be in Injustice 2 or was at least considered to the point where they created concept art for him. And it's so sad that that never saw the light of day. But if we do get an Injustice 3, down the line, now is the chance to put this character in there. And yeah, I know it's just another character that shoots electricity and we've gotten plenty of those before, but there's a lot that they could do with Static Shock. I mean, he can fly around first of all, whether it's on a sewer grate or one of the little hoverboard things that he has. I mean, that's probably one thing that we can use for customization. And also he's not like Black Adam or Shazam where he's like a literal God, you know, it's kind of just a kid who's flying around and got these crazy abilities, similar to something like Blue Beetle, what they did with Injustice 2. There's just no doubting that Static Shock is one of the most most requested characters for the Injustice franchise, and it would be a damn shame if we didn't see his inclusion in an Injustice 3 whenever that happens. And finally, at number one, some people will be able to guess this pretty easily, but I know everybody's list is gonna be different, which I think is a great thing. So at number one, to save you the suspense, I got Beast Boy. I already know you boy Uncaged Games is very excited for me to say that, because this is 100% his highly requested character. This is definitely the character that he's wanted an injustice for a very long time. Plus, I mean, think about it. We got Cyborg, we got Raven in Injustice Gods Among Us, Starfire was DLC in Injustice 2, the last member of the Teen Titans that we haven't gotten yet, aside from maybe like Tim Drake Robin, but I don't know, that's really getting into semantics. It's Beast Boy. And listen, Netherrealm, listen, listen, we're, we're paying attention, okay? I'm, I'm watching you guys. I saw what you did with Kotokan and MK11, where all of a sudden he can turn into a panther. You know, a lot of people back in the day were saying, I don't know if they can make Beast Boy work in Injustice 2 with the fact that he's turning into different animals. How do they incorporate that in the gameplay? How do they make that work? Well, case in point, MK11 
Dakota Khan turns into a panther and it works just fine. And I'm telling you that is totally a proof of concept if they wanted to include Beast Boy in a future game. Cause I'm already envisioning it in my head that different inputs utilizing the trait turns you into different animals and that gives you some extra special moves for the character. And if he wants to turn into a gorilla, just borrow some of Gorilla Grodd's moveset. I'm sure that works out just fine. And you know, we were talking earlier about characters that can bring some levity, that can bring some comedy. Beast Boy definitely adds to that as well. Could really be a fun character to interact with in the story mode for Injustice 3. There's a lot that Beast Boy brings to the table in terms of gameplay, in terms of narrative, in terms of customization. So they have to include this character in Injustice 3. It just, it needs to happen. I just hope that the character is not DLC because with Starfire and Red Hood and Injustice 2, what we missed out on, what I was hoping for is that they would have something to do in the story. And that's the top 10, but I told you guys at the top of the video that I've also got a guest character that I would like to see. I didn't want to include this in my top 10 specifically, because I wanted to list off 10 DC characters, but I also want this one guest character to show up really badly in Injustice 3 because it would be awesome. And my guest character pick is the Power Rangers or just a Power Ranger that you can customize to be different members of the Power Rangers. That last fighter pack for Injustice 2 was a shocker. Nobody would have guessed that they were gonna add the Ninja Turtles to the game, let alone have you be able to play as all four of them and for all four of them to have different movesets. The thing that made that work the most was that there were special moves that any of the Ninja Turtles could use, regardless of which one you're playing as. They were just universal special moves, and they could totally apply that same concept to the Power Rangers. And just imagine the endless possibility with customization. Imagine all the different kind of Power Rangers that you could change into, the shaders changing the color of Power Ranger that you are. I mean, this is a literal million dollar idea right here. Here. Your weapon in the gear system is what changes you to an actual different member of the Power Rangers, similar to what happens when you use that in the customization for the Ninja Turtles. And you can maybe have different skins that change you into the Lost Galaxy Power Rangers, the Zeo Rangers, you know, if you want to change into the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, the Red Ranger, whatever you want to do. Literally, there's so much they could do. And then, oh my God, imagine the super move for the Power Rangers that they call in the Megazord. There, this is, come on, seriously, I, li come on, okay, but Netherrealm? Make it Injustice 3 and do, find a way, okay? I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to find a way to, to make this happen because it would be too cool. And there you have it. The top 10 characters plus the one guest character or guest characters, I guess you could say, that I would like to see in Injustice 3 if Netherrealm makes it, or I should say when Netherrealm makes it down the line. The best part about making videos like this though, these listicle kind of videos, is that you guys don't have to agree with me. I don't want you to, in fact. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below. So please sound off. What characters do you want to see in Injustice 3 the most? I want to hear your thoughts. You can include a guest character or two as well if you'd like. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.